In this position right now, we're gonna see the transition between 50-50 arm pass. When I'm gonna be stand up, I'm gonna use my head to stuck his stomach in the ground. I'm gonna hold my, I'll use the frame, but I also, I'm gonna use my body weight. I'm not gonna use the, the leg drag, but I'm gonna use my body weight. I'm gonna use my head in the stomach to reach the lapel, and then I'm gonna flip my hip to the side to pass, okay? So, we're gonna start in the same position, 55th, arm control, always with the regular grip. I would, like again, I always take up uh, opportunity from the mistake he does. So the hands are together, no mistake, he frame. Very good distance control. But he touch the foot in the ground. Would he give me the frame? Okay? He gave me the frame, it was good. But now he's very smart. He don't let me walk to move my leg. He don't give me, he very good as a speed or frame. I couldn't make my leg drag. I cannot push him. I cannot push him to leg drag. So what I do right now, I'm gonna keep my head in his belt or in his stomach. And then I'm gonna stand up. So this way, because I cannot walk against the leg, I, all, I also, now I use my head to, to hold him in the ground. And this is gonna give the distance enough to have a very big hold like a head control. So. When I'm here, so I'm gonna, because I cannot go to the leg drag and his friend, I'm gonna put my head in his stomach and then I'll stand up. So this is gonna slow him down because of my head, I, I'm head on top of him. But now look, my hand can go in the head to grab the lapel. At the same time, I drop my knee and I sit down. When I sit down, I can go even deeper to hold. And then again, his knee is still framing. So I have to keep the position. My hip will fight against, the, against his knee. So when we here, I'll be fighting. So the way I fight, it's manipulating his elbow, his foot. I'll be moving, look, I'll be moving. I'll be moving, I, I make the grip in the belt. I can make grip here, but I'll be moving my hip. I'll be twisting his hip flat because now my hip go close, okay? If I let him face me, would be hard to get close to him. So I have to flat his hip to get close to him. And then now I relax my arm to go to the other arm. Okay, so from same position, I'm looking for mistakes. Okay, the hands are framed, very good defense in his upper body. The leg was a mistake, I framed. Once I frame, now I'm gonna try to, to leg drag, but he, he's holding me, he don't let me, he didn't let me flat his back which is giving me just the head control. So I'm not putting my head in his shoulder. I go my head, I duck my head to go in his stomach. And then I will stand up. Now I'm gonna use my head as one base and my legs also on the balance. He cannot move the leg because I'm pretty close to him. Now easy, I move my arm to head control. Okay, and then if you see, I drop. I'll drop, once I had control, I drop my knee to the ground and I sit down close to him. And then my hip, I flat his back and my hip will be sliding, it's sliding, always in the ground. I don't pass and try to build my knees again. No, I keep my hip in the ground and then I'll be slowly pushing his legs to get the space to go to the side court. So slowly my hip's gonna be pushing more I flat his back, more I open space for I go under his knee. Start the position, control, looking for mistakes. I find the mistake, I use my, my body weight. I use my body weight. Head control, I drop my knee to the side to give him better grip. Now I slowly walk him, flatting his back. Sometimes he's gonna grab it quite true, I hold my sleeve but they're not really attack anything over here. My hand easily moves to outside. Easily my grip is gonna, is gonna get out. But I have the side control, which is, which is giving me the point that I was looking for. So in this position, it's very important that uh, you work always with a possibility to make a different position. Always looking to mistake. That's why we have a three positions that give me control, because those positions, Give me control of the opponent. But the pass I will choose 
will be dependent upon the mistake the opponent giving. Because he's using his foot in the ground to hip skate, he give him the frame. Because I he not give me, he not flatten his back to a leg drag, I'm gonna use my body weight, using my head and his stomach. And this, but this is gonna be able to reach to reach the lapel, sit down on the ground, and then work my.